Won't be no crumbs. Gonna be a little juice flowing down your lips. Can I get a witness here? Amen. This is a very bold, very bold message here. Can I get a witness here? This talks about the people being on one accord. I think Minister Gates preached about that uh, several Sundays ago. Amen. Amen. And good things happen when we're on one accord. Right. Amen. But also, those that aren't on one accord, some other things could happen. Right. Can I get a witness here? Yes. But God's grace is sufficient. Yes, is. Can I get a witness here? Yes. But we cannot take God's grace. We cannot take advantage of His grace. Yes, Amen, somebody. Right. He gives it liberally. And when we're out of sort with Him, you know what I've learned? Uh, B.I.B.I. students you know I can get angry with God and hold off and maybe lie to him or things like that but eventually I got to get to him I can lie and, 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 and reject Jesus but when I go to messing with the Holy Spirit oh my God, do that. the Holy Spirit don't play oh, sir. he's in you if you're a Christian yes. Can I get a witness here? Witness. And so Amen. that's what we see here in this text of scripture. Man, we read the scripture. I'm preaching the whole thing. So I'm not pointing out to one scripture, the main thing. We know that they were all on one accord and they had things in common. Amen. So let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we're so grateful now. Thank you for this text of scripture here, oh God. We know this was the startup of the early church, oh God. That the Holy Spirit had come in power. Yes, yes. And he endued the people yes. to have that same power. Yes, As a matter of fact, verse 32 tells us that they were on the same page, oh God. Yes, they had all things in common. They claimed that everything belonged to you anyhow. Yes, yes, and so we're grateful for that. Yes, yes. And it does. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you have your way now. Move up and down the aisles, across this pulpit, deliver, heal, and set free. Because God, we know you're able. Holy Spirit, hide me now behind that cross. That they may see Jesus and glorify our Father who sits in heaven. It is in Jesus' precious name we do pray and give thanks. Amen. And just to tag a title to my text this morning, kind of what we've already alluded to. Are you all in? Are you all in? We know our monthly theme this month, we're talking about how I love my church. I, I can remember when Pastor Diane and I first came to Georgia and we joined uh, Shiloh Baptist Church. Amen. We love that church then, and we still do. We love our church, and we still do. Can I get a witness here? If Christ is the center, I love that church. Doesn't matter what the name. Can I get a witness here? So our monthly thing for this month, we're talking about you don't have, you don't go to church. You are the church. Man, you can't quantify a building. Amen. This is more than brittle and brick and wood. Amen. But it, the most important thing in this building is you. Amen. Amen. Let me back up. The only important thing in this building is you. Amen. That's what God is concerned about. Amen. Can we get a witness here? Amen. And so in our story here today, we the story of Ananias and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5 kind of backs up the Chapter 4, verse 32. I want to read that to you again. In 32, it says, And the multitude of them that believe, talking about the believers, talking about us, you know, it's just a little scenario. Can I get a witness here? It said, All those that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said of them that all of things which uh, uh, he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. Glory. So, 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 here it lets us know that despite the explosive growth in the early church, 
they had moments of weaknesses, mm -hmm. even gross sin. And we're going to see it here with Ananias and Sapphira. We are already kind of read it. Yeah. And so I believe that their deaths, though, my brothers and sisters, it serves as a warning to us here in the church today. Can I get a witness here? Witness. And God is willing to teach us the lesson if we're willing to hear it. Amen. Amen. Somebody, anybody get a little dribble on their lip yet? <laughs> not, not yet? Okay. Keep listening. Nevertheless, these two believers lied not to God, not to Jesus, but they lied to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Y'all pick that up? Mm -hmm. They lied to the Holy Spirit. And they paid the ultimate price for their life mm. by holding back mm. what they said that they would do. Yeah. You know, the word says it was theirs anyway. That's, That's what right. Peter told them. Right. Peter told them, said, look, it's yours anyhow. You ain't have to lie. Right. If you only wanted to give part, do that. Right. You didn't have to give it all, but you came out with the lie that you want to put it all in. Because Barnabas did it. Yeah, that's right. Trying, yeah, yeah, that's why they did it. Yeah, trying to be like Barnabas. Worry about Barnabas? Don't worry about the, 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 the Joneses. You don't have what Joneses have. Can I get a witness here? So my question to us this morning, are you all in? Amen. That means different things for different people. Being all in. Can I get a witness here? On the outside... Ananias and Sapphira, they look just like another disciple. I, I called his name earlier, Barnabas. You look in Acts chapter 4. When you get home, read Acts chapter 4. Barnabas had just sold his property, and he brought the money to the apostles. He didn't skip. He didn't dip. He didn't peel out a dollar and put it in his pocket. Whatever he sold it for, he took it to the, the uh, apostles. Can I get a witness here? To the casual observer, Ananias and Sapphira was going to do the same thing. That, that's what they said they were going to do. But deep in their heart, it lingered the love of money and a desire to please people. Can I get a witness here? So they conspired together. Here we go. Husband and wife. I'm going to say it is. And you say it too. You know, I, we, you know, we love each other. We, you know, we ought to be careful when we're dealing with the things of God. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. So they conspired together to present a portion of their money by passing it off as the entire amount. They did not have to do that. Amen. Peter told them, said, it was yours anyway. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? Quit trying to be somebody that you're not. Right. This is the world's apart from the attitude of Barnabas, but looks very similar. We, we, we try to keep up with the Joneses. We want to be like the Joneses. Can I get a witness here? But you yeah. can only do what you can do. That's right. And when you do that, my brothers and sisters, you're all in. Yeah. God honors that. Yes, can I get a witness here? We may be able to get away with this sort of deception for a while, but if someone looks closely, the lies are there threatening to undo everything that you started out doing. Right. Totally unnecessary. Right. Even if they don't show up, guess what? You cannot hide from God. Sure can. Amen. You can fool me. You know, like I said, we can, we can, uh, we can blaspheme God. We can blaspheme Jesus. Mm -hmm. But don't try that mess with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. It may be difficult for us to distinguish between a truly repentant heart and a seasoned faker. People, some people got it down pat. Some people know how to fake you out. Mm -hmm. I, I was watching basketball. You know how they, they do, what they do, the crossover? Mm -hmm. that, that, ooh, man, boy, they shake a joke out their shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you seen that, uh, E-Man? You seen a crossover before? Man, you make a joke or stumble over itself. <laughs> That's what a seasonal faker does in the church. Mm -hmm. 
us that are operating in real time with God on our side, they'll fake us out. Put that move on us, man, we don't know no difference. Until we way out there in the truth, they don't went around you and stole a basket. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness here? Amen. But let me tell you something. Nothing is hidden from God. Amen. He sees it all. The Holy Amen. Spirit knows our thoughts as if they were being played like up here on the loudspeaker, up here on those months. Mm -hmm. See, if the Holy Spirit would tap into my brains right now, it'll, it'll flash right up there. Just like this. It'll just show y'all everything about me. I ain't got to say nothing. It'll just show up. That's how the Holy Spirit operates in our lives. Everything that you're about, he already knows. Amen. We don't know, but he knows. Amen. Can we get a witness here? Amen. And that is why despite fooling everyone else, Ananias and Sapphira were still found out. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the Holy Spirit revealed them. Amen. There are no locked doors or hidden closets from the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you. He has access to all things. Yes. Amen. Might be able to fool your spouse for a little while, but you can't fool the Holy Ghost. Might be able to fool your friends for a little while, but guess what? It's going to show up right. by way of the Holy Spirit. He's going to let it be known. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness here? The day will come when every secret will be proclaimed from the housetop. You'll find that in Matthew chapter 10, verse 27. Amen. Amen. Might not be in this lifetime, but let, let me tell you something. When you stand before Jesus Christ mm -hmm. at the day of judgment, mm -hmm. he's going to tell you everything that you ever did. Yes. Right. <laughs> and you're going to have to give an account for it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get a witness here? Yeah. And so I encourage folks right now, while you still got breath in your body, yeah. you need to find you a corner and start repenting. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, forgive me for this, that, and that, 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 that. Yeah. Get it covered under the blood. So at judgment, you won't be judged so harshly by our righteous judge. Can I get a witness here? Because that day is going to come. Do we really believe this? Do we really, are we ready? Are we ready for it? Ananias and Sapphira had known this. Guess what? They just forgot. Just back in verse 32, they had already they had received the power. They had already talked about being on one accord. And you know what I find interesting here with this scenario and, and with the disciples and the apostles, you know what? God never told them to do that. There's, there's no, I looked. There's nowhere in the Bible that God told them to sell all everything you got and give it to the apostles. No, they didn't. Verse 32 said that they, they had everything in common. That's why it happened. Now, wasn't, wasn't nothing wrong with it. What made it wrong when they start holding back? Yeah. Amen. Nowhere in the Bible does God tell them that they have to do stuff like that. Right. And he doesn't tell us that today. Can we get a witness here? That, that's not the lesson. The, 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 the lesson, the abstract lesson here is don't lie to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Are you all in? Amen. There's a way to be all in. Hey, I don't have to go empty out our bank account and let y'all know I'm all in. No, no, just do what I'm supposed to do. Can we get a witness here? They had just received the Holy Ghost a few days earlier. They became so consumed with the praise of others that they forgot only one whose praise that really mattered. Can we get a witness here? We can't see inside of a person's heart to discern whether you have a vulnerable spirit or Ananias spirit. We can't see that. No. And I thank God that we can't see that. Amen. Can we get a witness here? Then we be judging. Amen. But the secrets of our heart are not secrets to God. Right. When you proclaim with your lips that Jesus is Lord and live as if his law doesn't matter, don't perceive yourself into thinking that you've successfully tricked God. God cannot be mocked. Right. You know, he don't go for the okie doke. <laughs> when, you, when you do a crossover on God, boy, he'll snatch the ball from you. Can <laughs> <laughs> yes, we get a witness here? Yes, 
kind of God we serve. Yes. Leave you standing there hanging. Mm. And so the closer we are to grace, the greater the offense of our sin becomes. Yes, we know that God's grace is sufficient. Yes. But it doesn't give you the right to sin. Not everyone who lies gets struck down. You know, I tell y'all all the time, God ain't standing over you with a fly swatter. Every time you mess up getting ready to, to swat you, that's not the God we serve. Amen. Can I get a witness? He expects better from us. Yes. Amen. So, so why did Ananias and Sapphira feel that they had to go through all this? I, I'm going to give you two reasons that, that I, I felt from the scripture that they did this. First of all, their death uh, like much in Acts, it served as a sign. Mm -hmm. Served as a sign, a warning. God takes something that is true in the kingdom of God and puts it on physical display. He, he's letting, he letting us see from the early church, they were excited. They, they were on fire for the Lord. Oh, but here come that flesh. I don't know how, the, how flesh does. You know how flesh does. No, I ain't doing that. You, you know, you know how we get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're human. Oh, yeah. Anybody got any juice running down there? Yeah. <laughs> I, I see a little spittle out right there. <laughs> we see this more often time through the healing of healing miracles. Can I get a witness here? But it's equally true of this one judgment right here. God doesn't do this with everyone who lies to the Holy Spirit today. But that should not cover up the fact that this death is a picture of how God feels about it. Yes, sir. He wants us to do better, my brothers and sisters. This abstract less than pen right here in Acts 4 and 5 is for us. It's a lesson for us. Yeah, honey, I love you, but I can't do that. It goes back to obedience being obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah, I know we need to do this, but I need to pay my time. I, I know I need to do this, but I I got to, I got the to usher today. I, I I I know I gotta I feel I'm tired. But I gotta get up and go preach this morning. Amen. It's a commitment to God. That that's that's the that's the juice. That, that's the fear that we ought to have in our hearts. And I ain't, I ain't talking about that boot-shaking fear, but maybe some of us should. But it's the, a fear of reverencing God. Uh, I'm all in, Lord, and I, I said I was going to do this. I, I said I was going to do this, so I'm going to go do this. Amen. Amen. Even if I come grudgingly, and I, I believe, I believe in my whole heart, I can come here sick and leave here healthy. Because <laughs> I serve that kind of a God. Amen. Amen. When, I, when, I, when I walk through that door, all my ambi ambitions, all the things that are holding me back are gone. I'm, I'm in my comfort zone. I'm doing what God called me to do, and I feel Amen. good about it. I, I, I go after church and have that meal with my wife and say, we went to church. Amen. We had church today. Amen. Can I get a witness here? No hesitation, no reservation come Monday morning. I got my praise on. Amen. I stumped the rug today. Why? Because I'm all in. Amen. I ushered on the door today, Sister Hudson. Why? Because I'm all in. I sang my song today. Why? Because I'm all in. Can I get a witness here? I played my music today. I'm all in. Can I get a witness here? I committed to something today to drive in the van. You know why? Because I'm all in. Amen. That's how it works, my brothers and sisters. The second thing I want to share, which is Ananias and Sapphira, they had seen the activity of the Holy Spirit so close that the seriousness of the sin increased. That's what happened to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 they, saw, they saw firsthand they saw the Holy Spirit fall on the people. They saw it. They saw the seriousness. It was so serious that they had all things in common. Everybody in the building. It said three, four thousand people joined. 
All 3,000 was thinking the same thing. That's what it means to have here all things in common. They wasn't going to hold anything back. So when they did what they did, it shined the light on their sin. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it was serious. It was serious. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Think about that. The closer you are to the holy place and the holy things of God, the more significant everything is. Amen. Man, have you ever thought about it? When, when you do something wrong, don't something prick you right quick? Amen. Because it's serious. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a changed person now. Yes, you know, it, it, it used to wouldn't, wouldn't be enough for me to just knock a joker out. I would just be happy to do it. <laughs> Amen. I, I'd fight a break. It wouldn't, if it crossed me wrong, can I get a witness here? Amen. But today, fighting somebody don't even cross my mind. Amen. And even if it does, I repent right away. Amen. It's not the way of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so when those thoughts come into our head, it, it shines a light on who we are. I said, Lord, I can't do that. I can't think like that. So these people had seen the mercy of God firsthand. Ananias' name here, it means God of mercy. They had likely been witness to the death of Christ itself because they were in doing that time frame. They saw Christ on the cross. They witnessed it. Can we get a witness here? And yet, despite being recipients of such great grace, they rejected it for the praise of me. That's right. By holding back. So, I come here today to let us know, my brothers and sisters, let's not take the Holy Spirit lightly. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. I tell you all all the time, he's the most, whole, mo most powerful thing on earth. Powerful person, let me back up, on earth right now. Jesus is in heaven. And God is in heaven. Guess who's here with you and me? The Holy Ghost. Amen. He wants us to pay attention to him. We can't lie to him. It's called blasphemy. You can lie to God, you can lie to Jesus. They'll forgive you, but when you do it to the Holy Ghost, there are consequences. Can I get a witness here? For those of us familiar with the idea of infinitely loving God, it's a joying realization. We need to fear God. When I say fear for some, it means we need to res totally respect Him. And for others, you ought to shake in your boot if you ain't got there yet. But God's love only makes sense when we know the magnificence of his glory and the might of his power. And that's why John Newton wrote, he said, "'Tis grace that taught my heart to fear." Yes, sir. It's grace. Yes, sir. It's what grace does. Grace is not your passport to sin. Can I get a witness here? It's your passport to fear in God. Amen, somebody. And as the fear of God increases, so does the sense of his love because we understand more fully what we have been saved from. Amen. My brothers and sisters, sin is a, it's a deadly serious matter to God. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to let you know that even when the sins of the world was up on Jesus, God turned his back on his own son. And, and what do you think he would do to us when we get caught in sin? He cannot react. His grace isn't sufficient at that time. Can I get a witness here? Amen. If we're honest, many of us find God's action here kind of offensive. So when, we, when we think, well, you know, God, God allowed them to drop dead. Yeah, he did. But, 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 but did God really do it? No, no he didn't. Thank you for that, Brother Chapel. They did it to themselves. Amen. Can we get a witness here? Amen. We might look at this scenario and think, well, you know, God, that, uh, that I thought God was a loving God. He is a loving God, and he weeds out things. Right. Can I get a witness here? Amen. 
But that merely reveals our ignorance on our sin and holiness of God. We've got to understand uh, God's holiness won't allow him to look upon sin. We shouldn't ask the question, why did they die? Instead, we should wonder, why do we remain alive? <laughs> How come some of us ain't dead yet? Well, yeah, why, why the fly swallow hadn't come down on me yet? <laughs> and the question becomes, are you all in? And so my brothers and sisters, yes, God is patient with us. and He's very slow to anger. Amen. But my brothers and sisters, we forget that God's patience is designed to lead us to repentance. Right. Not to become bolder in our sins. Yes. No, no. Well, didn't nothing happen when I did it that time. I'll go try it again. No, you better thank God's grace. Amen. God's grace was sufficient at that time. that time. Can I get a witness here? Witness. If Jesus really went through the torment of hell of the cross to redeem us, and we neglect that in pursuit of our sins, what will it be like to stand before God? What is it going to be like? How shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? And I come to ask you the question again. I'm all done. Are you all in? I, 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 we ain't talking about running home and selling all your stuff. I ain't got nowhere to keep you. I ain't got nowhere for you to stay. Amen. You can't stay up here on the church ground. Well, I gave everything to the church. <laughs> no. That is, if you look what Peter told him, said, look, the stuff was yours anyway. Right. You chose the lie. Right. Can I get a witness here? Witness. So my question today, are you all in? Yeah. And whatever that means to you, look at it from a biblical, biblical perspective. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you doing what God has called you to do? Amen. Amen. And if you are, you all in. Yes. Amen. Man, the doors of the church is open. Let us pray.